Welcome back, everybody, to episode number nine. We are starting off with our first task of Dust Devils. I've actually never done these before, even on my main, because I was told right when I hit 65 Slayer before to just skip these things because they're useless, but I'm getting a lot of decent drops for only 65 Slayer requirement. We already got 10k, 90 Soul Runes, 650 Fires, a Mystic Air Staff, which outs for 25k. Like, these are not bad drops. I... If anything, I want to stay here. And they're really easy to kill. This is pretty cool. I would definitely recommend Dust Devils. Plus, they do drop that uh, that magical Dust Battle Staff, which isn't worth very much. But, it ooh, Dragon Dagger. Okay, cool. That's another 18k. But they do drop the Dust Battle Staff at a 1 in 4,000 rate, which will be pretty useful. Combines two runes. I think it's Air and Earth together, if I'm not mistaken. And then the... Very elusive, probably never going to find it, Dragon Chain Body at 1 in 32.7 thousand. So, that's that. Uh, in our spare AFK time, we are going to be making a bunch of cannonballs. I actually went from 51 to 58 smithing just by making steel bars, a couple myth bars, and uh, the cannonballs themselves. We made about 5,000 cannonballs, so not on this task per se, but for our next couple Slayer tasks, we are going to be using our cannon and... Just blowing through the Slayer levels right now. It's going to be great. So let's stick around. God damn. I've never done Dust Devils before, but... Killing 123 of them got me about 400k. 109k, that was straight cash. I would definitely recommend it. Do your Dust Devils tasks. Don't block them. Damn. It, and it really didn't take me that long. I would recommend bringing Bones to Peaches and High Elk Runes. And you, yeah, you're set after that. Jesus Christ. I might extend those, actually. Ooh, one round of Nightmare Zone complete. 689k points in the bag, which means we can upgrade the Berserker Ring. Let's, let's, let's see. I already know what the stats are, but just so we can show you guys. We will put on the Berserker Ring. And the stats are 4 Crush, 4 Melee Strength. I believe they go up to 8 each. So let's upgrade. Oh, gotta take it off. Gotta take it off. Upgrade the Berserker Ring. Done. Easy. Now we will put it back on. Ooh, now it's shiny too. Forgot about that part. And 8 Crush, 8 Strength. And if you didn't know, roughly every 4 melee strength is 1 damage. So we just got an extra max damage hit, pretty much. So we're doing pretty good, pretty good. Let's go do our Tarothst Slayer task now. Sometimes I really wonder what my luck is. Because we bought a leaf-bladed spear, came here, killed 16 of these things, and I got a leaf-bladed sword. If you didn't know, Leaf Bladed Sword is 1 in 500, and we got it on the 16th kill here. That's pretty pretty damn good RNG right there. And the Leaf Bladed Sword is far superior to the Leaf Bladed Sword, especially because you can put a Dragon Defender on. So you do a lot more damage, a lot more accurately, except for if you're using Crush, which is the shared experience attack style, so no one should ever use Crush unless you're trying to do all your stats at once, but... That's too slow for me. Uh, 82 kill count. Got a second leaf bladed sword. Again, these are one in 500, and I got one on 16 kill count and one on 82 kill count. And I don't think Mr. Mammal has one at all, and he's at like 1200 kill count. So, no, no. I don't think I have a heraldic helmet. Perfect! More for clues, yay, and some alcohols. Anyone is at all curious on how to make cannonballs really quickly, I recommend coming to the Blast Furnace. It's extremely cheap. Just talk to Ordan over here. The iron ores are from about 25 to 50 each, and the coal is... Well, this is a bad example, but they're usually about uh, 75 each or so. So I buy two inventories worth of each stack, because each stack is 100. Get it down to like 46, 42, whatever the case is. Run over here to the bank. Bank the iron ore, and then you just hop worlds. 
it's extremely fast. I can get about 1k iron and 1k coal in like 20 to 30 minutes, and it doesn't cost me more than like 120k for the materials. Spend an hour or so uh, smithing it all into bars, and then spend another hour or two smithing all into cannonballs, and boom, there's 4k cannonballs right there. No mining necessary. Of course, I'm not saying don't mine for the experience, but if you want your ores fast, this is a really effective way and very cheap way of doing it. I would definitely recommend this. Coming in with 75 attack, we can now use God Swords, <laughs> Abyssal Tentacles, <laughs> Staff of the Dead, <laughs> and Arc Light. We can actually obtain the Arc Light, but the other three, not a chance in hell right now. Soon, maybe, hopefully. But not right now. Cool. Oh, shit. Wait. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Don't tell me that's a duplicate. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta double check. Oh, I dropped my elite clue on top of the vial and it said, You can't loot that, you're an Iron Man. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> what? I think I just got a duplicate piece. Uh, Please, God, no. I'm pretty sure it is. Ripperoni. What the fuck is happening here? I have a duplicate <laughs> Torax top, a duplicate Guthans top, and now I have duplicate Aram's top. What the fuck is wrong with these tops? Wow. Way to go. <laughs> oh. Okay. Coming in with a Bandos page four, some Alcabals. Nice stack of law runes and a another master clue. This is our second master clue today, and the other one I just dropped instantly because I knew we couldn't do it. So let's see. Under a giant robotic bird that can't fly. Shh. I think I know where this one is. It's up on uh, White Wolf Mountain, I believe. I mean, we'll see if we can do it, but let's go find out. Okay, so we have two pieces of the three for this master clue and i guess it says that we need three pieces of guthix which we have a guthix helm and a guthix skirt but i also heard that you can use a blessed silver sickle as a guthix piece as well so let's test this theory out put on our two technically three pieces of guthix and talk to juna tell me a story and I don't think that worked. Otherwise, I think I would have got some other dialogue. Yep. I don't think the blessed sickle works. So, let me research a little bit more. But if not, um, instead of finding a whole new Guthix piece, we're just going to drop the clue. So yeah, unless I can get another piece of Guthix, uh, there's no way I can do that master clue, so we're gonna drop it. Because we cannot do it. The chances of me finding another master clue are far better than the chances of me getting another Guthix piece. I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I keep it in the inventory? And then every time that I open another clue scroll, drop it? Eh, we'll do the drop trick method until we get a uh, another Guthix piece, I guess. See what we can do. An adamant cane. Okay. Sure. Oh shit. So we just unlocked the bigger and badder uh, Slayer perk. And this is the very first bigger and badder guy that we've fought. Both on the Iron Man and ever. Because... Don't even have it unlocked on the other character. So let's see what we get off this. It's almost dead. I think this thing just does melee attacks, so as long as we just pray flick it, we should be fine. Some of the other ones are a little more dangerous. But we got Ha <laughs> ha You're funny. That was fucking nothing. Okay, so here we go. I expected to get one of these a lot earlier on because we've completed like 15 master or not master what the hell we've completed like 15 hard clues already and this is the first time that i've gotten the blue or one of the blue dragon hide body uh clues so we've made our blue dragon hide van braces which is one of the things we need for this clue 
However, we still don't have a blue dragon hide body, and I definitely don't feel like doing crafting right now. However, we are much higher defense, magic, combat, and everything than we were before. So, let's pull out our Ivan staff and go see if we can uh, do a little damage to some brutal blue dragons and see if we can get some sort of a drop. Oh my god. That is not what we are here for, but that completes our elite clue. Well, not completes it, but it at least gets the step done. Let's get out of here. Take that shit and run! Let's go do our elite clue. Fuck it, in the blue dragon hive body. The freaking... Okay, so this is the same clue. Different step. This is step number 12 of our elite clue. But we got the fishing platform one again, which requires the dragon med helmet. So two times we've needed the dragon med helmet in this clue already. So that's pretty lucky that we got it, isn't it? But no matter what, this will be the last step of the clue. So let's run and grab it really fast, and we'll see what pretty treasures lie inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, give me my clue. And here we go. Piscarillus House Scarf. 1.2 mil. Even though, well, it's worth around 1.2 mil, but it says 84k as well, so I, I don't know how to configure that. Mostly harmless teleports, cool. Dragonstone ring. Where was that before I got my Berserker ring? Because that would have been nice to enchant into a ring of wealth to pick up all of my coin drops. But, uh... Pretty cool, I guess. What does this look like? Is that a she seashell? Is that a she shell? Is that a seashell? I don't even know what the hell that is, but cool. It's a it's a unique. All right, no, I've tried magic, I've tried attack, and I'm even trying range right now, and I'm just not a high enough range level to kill these things. Range is the preferred method to kill these, but I'm just not a high enough range level, nor do I have the blowpipe. So if I don't get it on this kill, the blue dragon head body, we are just gonna, oh, we're just gonna get a couple more crafting levels. I think 68 crafting, so two more crafting levels. And then find a plus five boost while sitting at a bank. Yeah, and we didn't get it. So we're gonna get a plus five boost while sitting at the bank. So that way, you know, we can actually keep our plus five boost since they fixed the uh, skill boosting method. And uh, yeah, make a blue dragon hog body that way. But we are gonna drop this clue and just go continue Slayer for now because I do not feel like getting two crafting levels. And it's really just one and a half crafting levels. It's actually not that bad, but don't feel like doing it right now i've already wasted like two hours trying to hunt this damn thing so we're, we're done we're done we're not doing this freaking brutal blue dragon thing anymore we're gonna go do some more slayers so let's drop this clue and uh, get back to it well we just got 72 slayer which means that we are now able to kill skeletal wyverns gonna be making a buttload of money there Easily find ourselves a pair of dragon legs upgrade from the rune. Possible draconic visage. Some iron ores for cannonballs. Some unpowered orbs. Just absolute overall gains from those things. But we found a uh, superior slayer encounter as we hit 72 slayers. So, or the kill right before 72 slayers. So let's, uh, let's find out what we get from it. And we get... Nothing again. Woohoo! Oh shit. Guthix Dragonhide body coming in. And you know what that means? That means that that is our third piece of Guthix. We have a Guthix helm, this Guthix Dehide body, and a Guthix skirt, which we do have a Master Clue scroll in the bank that requires three Guthix pieces. So let's go do our first step of our Master Clue, only so we can fail the second step. Woohoo! What the f- you're- No! 
You're telling me we need 70 range to put on a green dragon hide body, a Guthix green dragon? That's a load of crap. Okay. We need another four range levels, three and just a tiny bit of the fourth one before we get 70 range. So we're not going to be able to do this master clue just yet. Another delay. Just one more delay. And then we're going to fail step two. So it's, you know, it's whatever. Okay, so we got a little tip that uh, the Kingdom of Miscellanea, I know we've done this before, and we might have put in a maybe a smaller amount of coins than what was supposed to be, but we tried doing herbs, and I only got like 15, 20 herbs of each herb after like five days of my money being in the kingdom, so I was pretty upset with it. But I heard that coal from mining is, if you, if you put your people on mining, that is, coal is going to be insane. And then, of course, we want to try herbs again because herbal ore is pretty hard for Iron Man. So for now, I'm going to put it on mining so that way we get a bunch of coal and possibly gold for smithing experience. I don't know what you get, but I know you get a lot of coal, so that'll help us make some cannonballs and stuff. So I'm putting it on mining for now, switching it back to herbs later, and we're putting 1.5 mil down, pretty much all of our money right now. And this other 300k will go into paying for the blast furnace for the current coal and iron that we have. So that way we can make cannonballs. And yeah, this should give us about 10 days in the kingdom. So that's plenty of time for us to get more money. Not even worried about that whatsoever. And plenty of time to get some coal. So we'll check back in a couple days and we'll see uh, how much coal we got. So I talked to King Vargas. Or uh, no, the advisor grim guy and it seemed like there was like a little mini quest that says if it's not complete uh the workers won't be pulling out as much resources which i wondered why i didn't get very many herbs the one time i tried kingdom miscellanea before and uh so i start doing this mini quest and i'm about halfway through it before my friend says you know you're doing royal trouble right and i was like what i didn't even know that it was a it was a full quest so did half of this quest by accident, pretty much, thinking that it was just a mini game. So we're gonna finish this quest, and it gives us increased resources for miscellanea once complete. So, uh, yeah, that's a that's a thing that just happened, and that would be why I didn't get very many herbs the time that we did it before and wasted our money. So we're gonna do the quest, get some coal, and then switch back to herbs and get some herbal ore experience going. So, uh, yeah, here's the quest complete for Royal Trouble. Completely did not know this quest existed. I've never done it before, and I did not know that this was probably the reason why I've never gotten a good amount of rewards from the, uh, the kingdom itself. So, yeah, I cannot wait to actually see... Oh, I just blew past it. But, yeah, there it is, quest complete. 5,000 Slayer Experience, 5,000 Agility, 5,000 HP, 20k coins, 1 quest point, and increased resources at Miscellanea. So, let's find out how much this guy will actually give us in terms of resources. Because we have 100% approval, and both quests are complete now. So we'll find out exactly how much coal we'll get. Okay, we're going to go out on a... Not necessarily a limb, but because of how easy it is to uh, fletch these broad bolts and how effective they are, we are going to buy the broad bolt fletcher. We have 340 points, which, yeah, we do need that for the rings. However, we are pretty close to completing our 100th task, which will get us like 250 points right there, so... In a couple more tasks, we're going to be able to do the rings, and we're not going to get 75 crafting anytime soon. So for now, we're going to get the Broader Fletcher, because the Broad Bolts are the equivalent to Adamant Bolts. So instead of wasting our bars and making Myth Bolts, we can get a much cheaper alternative. And, let's see, how much, how much is a pack of unfinished bolts? So 5,500 per 100 volts, and I get fletching experience from it, and it does more damage. So definitely worth it. Let's make a couple of these. Got a Zamorak page one coming in. Sweet! I believe that's a second Zamorak page. Yes! Choke Devil Encounter. Let's see what we get. 
come on, you can die a little faster if you want. But yeah, pretty much exactly on 200 kill count, we got the uh, Choke Devil Superior Slayer boss, which it spawns every one in 200, so we got it exactly on the 200th kill. Because I am 28 Dust Devils left of my 228 tasks, so yeah. And we get a zero, a zero, okay, we get Dark Totem Base. Fantastic. So pretty much nothing. Decided to use my Skeletal Wyvern's task just to get some AFK range and so I don't have to keep making trips and gathering a bunch of loot so far. But the biggest benefit about doing our range here at the Wyvern's task is da -da -da -da, 70 range. Now this does two things for us right now. It one gets us Black Dragon Hide, which Currently, we're using blue and red, so that's not good. And it lets us put on that Guthix uh, Dragonhide top that we got before, which gives us our third piece of Guthix, which means we can complete our first step of our master clue. We've only been holding on to that clue for a week, so we can go complete that step now and get the second step, which we will guaranteed not be able to do. <laughs> but let's go find out. Oh, I'm sorry. 70 range was also 1600 total level, so that's another cool achievement right there. Came down here to do our master clue, figured we'd do Tears of Guthix while we were down here, and we just got 50 runecrafting, which means we'd use large pouches, and we are f at least 50 in all skills. We actually are exactly 50 on farming, runecrafting, and construction, so that's kind of dangerous there. We do need 56 runecrafting for... Uh, I think it was Faldor Hard Diary, so that way we can make teleport tabs once we get that cool little clay perk. Farming, not really quite too sure how to raise farming on an Iron Man. Probably going to be the Tith farm, if anything, and then construction, that's just a money dump, so when we have spare money, we'll do that, but yeah, that's where we're sitting at right now. Uh, the only other skills in the 50s would just be Thieving, which is easy, and Herblore, which takes a little resource gathering and then we'll have all 60s after that so just five skills left in the 50s and we will have all 60s so our next master clue oh that's our hard clue that we're doing uh i may be able to do this one i'm gonna have to look up exactly where these are but let's see if i can get it done oh my god i almost died doing this holy hell okay so, those guys are now dead. Thank God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Our next master clue is... Oh, God. Step number three. Phalo the Bard wants to see you. This cannot go well. I do have the fighter torso, but this cannot go well. Without looking this one up, I think I know the answer to the riddle. It is... It can hold down a boat or crush a goat. And I believe that is a barrel chest anchor. So let's use it on him. His eyes light up. Wait, what? Please have another think about. Okay, nope, we're going to have to look it up. I lied. Wait, wait, wait. Scratch all that. I was correct. It is the barrel chest anchor. However, we needed to get it fixed from when we picked it up from the quest. Which cost me 230 freaking K, so we better be able to complete this master clue. Just saying. Oh, nope, I don't want to equip it, I don't want to equip it. Use barrel chest anchor on Phalo. His eyes light up. Yes, yes, yes. Cool, our next clue is... Show your anger at the wa- Ha ha! You're funny. Abyss. Some spined chaps. Well, that doesn't sound too hard. I don't know where you get spined chaps, but Legends Cape, we can go buy one of those right now. <laughs> Equip an Abyssal Whip. I wish I freaking could. <sighs> oh well. We're going to keep this clue because we are grinding Slayer right now, but that's a fucking troll, if anything. God damn it. Shit.
Alrighty, that should be it for this episode. Uh, we've gotten quite a bit of stuff done. Mostly, we have broken 1600 total level uh, and 74 Slayer. We're still working our way up to that whip. Sadly, we got that Master Clue mocking us now that we don't have a whip, but kind of have a plan for that one. Uh, when we get to 80 Slayer, although the boosting method is now fixed where you can't world hop and keep that plus 5 boost anymore, uh, you need three meats to make a wild pie, and of course you can get the pie dough and all that fun stuff from the Colomancer chest with Recipe for Disaster, but you need three meats to make the pie. One of the meats can be bought from the Canifus meat seller, the other meat can be bought from a charter ship crew member, and the third meat is a chompy bird. Uh, the chompy bird, I kind of have a method to teleport to the dueling arena with a dueling ring, Go to the Gnome Gladder, glide down to Fell the Pills, and then hunt Chompies to have a full inventory, run and bank, and repeat. So that should get us... I mean, we only have to do just a couple inventories of Chompies, and we can make probably about 100 pies, maybe 200 pies. And we get two chances each. So once we have a bunch of pies, we will go to the Abyssal Tower and uh, eat a pie at the top of the minute. Try to kill as many Abyssal Beans as we can until we get that whip, just so we can get it five levels early, because... Jagex loves patching our shit. So that's our plan for Slayer. Let's take a look at our bank value. Let's put everything in here. We broke 50 mil. We're sitting at 53.5 mil. Not doing too bad there at all. Plus we got the, uh, the Piscorilius house scarf. So that was a pretty good addition. Bunch of herbs. Bunch of loot. Yeah, I mean, overall, we made some nice bit of gains, and uh, we got a lot more to go. I have so many things to do in this game right now that it's not even funny. But we're going to keep working and keep getting done. So I'll see you guys next time.